All right, today I'm going to talk about some grips. Uh, first of all, I have this Nova Champion Wraith. I'm going to show you how I grip my drives. Most of the time, I use this two-finger Robbie Bratton style flick grip. As you can see, through the Champion plastic, kind of dim light, but you get the idea. Thumb goes right there against the... Uh, against the rim through the flight plate um, this grip has really changed my game um, it's given me a lot more spin um, and if you know much about disc golf spin is what you need to get the disc to fly the way it's supposed to and also maximize your distance it's not about arm speed it's about spin um, and if you can combine spin and arm speed at the proper amount uh, then your your drives are going to improve greatly, but it starts with the spin. So I switched to this grip about a month ago, and it's improved my game by leaps and bounds. Um, now, there are times when you don't want as much spin as this grip is going to generate for you. And in that situation, I go to this grip, which is similar, three fingers, I keep my pinky out, because um, sometimes I feel like I'm crowding the disc when I curl all four fingers. Um, I keep my pinky out so that it simplifies my grip, gives less release points, but I always have my finger right on this digit right here. Um, just like Dave Feldberg says, every single disc you should grip with your pointer finger on that digit right there for a clean release every single time. So those are my two drive grips, my two finger flick, um, spin grip which I use for pretty much I would say 90 to 95 percent of my drives um, when I want to back off the spin, I switch to that. And I say flick because that's just what I've called it, it's not a forehand, it's a backhand grip obviously, um, but it generates a lot of spin with a minimal amount of arm speed. Uh, which gives you more consistency and more accuracy. When it comes to mid ranges, uh, I use two grips. I use this modified three finger fan grip, again with the pointer finger wrapped around the uh, the bead. This is a rock, so it has a bead on it. Wrap the finger around the the bead on that digit. Lay the ring finger against the rim and then just kind of fan and control the flight plate with the middle finger. Um, I will switch at times to a two finger curl on the around the rim, still controlling the flight plate with my middle finger there. Um, but those are pretty much the two different types of grips I use for mid-range shots. A uh, modified three finger fan grip and then more of a fork grip fan in the middle finger. Uh, and then for putting I, uh, I watched Dave Feldberg's um, putting clinic, and he, like I said, curls the first finger, lays the pinky finger flat against the rim, and then fans the middle two fingers against the flight plate, and kind of applies pressure with the thumb, um, different strengths and different positions for different flight, uh, and also different wind conditions. So I switched back and forth between that, with the pinky finger laid flat, and with just all three fingers kind of stacked and fanned, um, just depending on how comfortable I feel that day. Um, the one with the pinky finger pressed gives you a little less spin, um, but more accuracy, more feel. The three finger fan and stack gives you more spin, cut into wind a little bit better. Um, but a lot of the time, especially in some longer, longer putts towards the outside edge of the circle, I uh, I can't quite get it there fanning all three fingers. So those are the grips that I use. Um, that's pretty much it when it comes to grips. I don't mess around too much. I keep it simple. I keep it consistent because as everybody knows the more simple your game, the more easily replicable your throws. And that's the key. Consistency on release and consistency in touch and feel and spin. So thanks for watching.